Hello family, welcome back to Prophetic Diary. My name is Tiny. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Click on that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm live. I'm actually going live today. It's Friday. Tomorrow we have the Single and Ready series. Are you ready for marriage? A kingdom marriage? Are you still desperate? Are you still doing the most? Are you still trying to make it happen for yourself? I don't know. We'll have to see. So join us around the Single and Ready series. Also this Sunday, Easter Sunday. Today's Good Friday. Sunday's Easter Sunday. We want you to join us in the PD Society Circle. We're going to talk about radical faith. You don't want to miss out. There's levels to this thing. Remember that, right? Join us in the PD Society Circle. The Lord gave me this word today. And he said exactly right in their faces. Right in their faces. For so many years, you've tried for so many years, you've been telling everyone, hey, these are the promises that God has for my life. This is what he's done. This is my testimony. This is what he saved me out of. And he can save you in relationships. You try to tell him like, hey, you really need to change your ways. Let's try to do something. Let's build a family. Let's build a relationship. Let's take this thing to the next level. Let's do something bigger than what we've been doing the last 10, five years. Showing yourself approval. Even if you haven't been in church, you've been watching these prophetic diary videos doing the inner work and yourself spreading the good news to your spouse and to your family and they all like whatever but God gave me this word today that says right in their faces so I'm gonna start off in Isaiah 29 we'll start there and it says woe to those children declares the Lord to those who carry out plans that are not mine forming alliances but not by my spirit heaping sin upon sin who go down to Egypt without consulting me, who look for help for Pharaoh's protection. So this is, let me get into this verse. So God is talking to a people that he says, you don't listen to me. You do what you want to do when you want to do it. The Bible says here, sin on top of sin. It says you go down to Egypt without consulting me, meaning they go do what they want to do every day without asking God. And it says, you rely on Pharaoh's protection, meaning they rely on the world for their protection. They rely on their titles. They rely on their reputation. They rely on women. They rely on their money, right? Moving on, verse 8. Go now and tell them, these are rebellious people, deceitful children, unwilling to listen to the Lord. Instructions. They say to the seers, see no more visions. And to the prophets, give us more, no more visions. Tell us unpleasant things. Prophesy illusions. Leave this way. Get off this path and stop confronting us with the Holy One of Israel. These people are saying to us, they're saying to the people that love them. They're saying to the people that tell them the truth. Some people here, some listeners that only want to hear delusions. They're saying to the prophets, give me more delusions. They're saying to the women they're dating, tell me more lies. Tell me I'm the man. Tell me I'm that chick. They're trying to get more promotions at their jobs and trying to get more followers on Instagram and trying to get everyone to like them. God says they want illusions from the prophets. They, y they want me to come up here and lie to y'all. They want me to tell them to go fix it with that man and go chase at that, that man and devalue yourself so he really don't have no more respect for you. They want you to date them and tell them they're all that instead of telling them the truth that you're an alcoholic and you need to go get help. They want lies. They want you to tell them things that they want to hear. They want illusions. But God says right in their face. Not only is it going to be right in their face, but it's going to be right in your face because it's going to be a public display. And they've been relying on the world and they've been relying on Pharaoh to keep them, uphold them. We see it in the news now. Celebrities being, being tore down. Empires that they built being tore down in a day because Pharaoh can't protect them anymore. Pharaoh is Satan. He's tricky. The world don't love you. The streets don't love you. And that very woman, that very man that came into your life, like these people here, they said, stop, conf stop confronting us about the Holy One, meaning I don't want to hear that God stuff. Uh, I can't be around her. She talk about God. She live right. She ain't going to let me do what I want to do with her. I can't lie to her. I can't manipulate her. Yes, because you're not my God. 
I have a God already and I don't have to submit to you in your ways or do no monkey dance for you to love me. If you are submitted unto the Lord, you should already know how to love me. So if y'all want one of no prophets that's going to feed you delusions and illusions and have your life tore up, you stressed out, still pulling out your hair. No, they want to silence you. They told you you were crazy. They called you crazy. They told everybody you was crazy. They told them you're this and you're that. But somebody's saying the lie detector test determined that that was a bold face lie. And it's about to be a public display of everything that I said, everything that the Lord allowed me to coach you and show you. Somebody's saying Moses tried to free the people. Moses tried to free the people, but they didn't make it in. All right. They didn't listen to you. They didn't listen. I hope that this word blesses you because it is going to be a public display and you're going to see who was crazy. You're crazy for not listening to God. You're crazy thinking that you can go down every day to Egypt and do what you want to do. You're crazy for thinking that these world systems is going to protect you. Mm -hmm. Somebody say they didn't get the memo. Somebody say they didn't understand the assignment. All right. Hashtag. You guys feel that the so and this word. Hashtag. Public display. I love you, family. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hopefully, I see you tomorrow in the Sing Already series. God bless.